hi hello welcome to my channel learn more math uh, today we are going to solve a problem from exercise 7.2 so this is a third problem find the ratio in which the line segment joining the points minus 3 comma 10 and 6 comma minus 8 is divided by minus 1 comma 6 so see here uh, these two points he has given minus 3 comma 10 and 6 comma minus 8 so the line joining these two points is divided by the point minus 1 comma 6 in which ratio he is asking so let it is m1 is to m2 so let minus 1 comma 6 divides the line joining minus 3 comma 10 and 6 comma minus 8 internally in the ratio m1 is to m2 so now we have to find the values of m1 m2 using section formula so ikkada manaku two points ichadu ee rendu point lanu kalupu tho geese atvanti line no minus 1 comma 6 anedi divide chestundi so a ratio lo divide chestundi ani adugutunnadu so manu section formula use chesi find out cheyali so using section formula so what is the section formula m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 comma m1 by 2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2 so here it is x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2 so now the point the point of coordinates which divides the line joining these two points is minus 1 comma 6 so see here how can we find it is a m1 x2 so we have to find m1 m2 value m1 into x2 so it is x1 y1 it is x2 y2 x2 value is 6 m1 x2 uh, that is m1 into 6 plus m2 x1 so m2 x1 value is minus 3 m2 into minus 3 divided by m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 in the same way we have to find m1 y2 so y2 value is a minus 8 m1 into minus 8 plus m2 y1 m2 into y1 value is 10 m2 into 10 divided by m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 is equal to what so here minus 1 comma 6 minus 1 comma 6 so just now have to simplify it so m1 into 6 it is a 6 m1 so m2 into minus 3 it is minus 3 m2 by m1 plus m2 so here just to we have to equalize either x coordinates or y coordinates to get the values of m1 and m2 so ikkada manam x coordinates gaani y coordinates gaani equal chesi m1 m2 values find out cheyali so now i am equalizing x coordinates is equal to what here minus 1 so just i am equalizing the x coordinates so 6 m1 minus 3 m2 by m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 1 so here these are x coordinates what? Now take m1 plus m2 to the right side here is 6 m1 minus 3 m2 is equal to minus 1 into m1 plus m2 minus 1 into m1 plus m2 so here m1 plus m2 here it is dividing if you take to the right side it multiplies so minus 1 into m1 plus m2 so what we get see here already here 6 m1 minus 3 m2 is equal to minus m1 minus m2 minus m1 minus m2 so now again we have to simplify so take minus 3 m2 to the right side and minus m1 to the left side here already 6 m1 is there 6 m1 so here if you take minus m1 to the right side it becomes plus m1 is equal to here already minus m2 is there minus m2 so if you take minus 3 m2 to the right side it becomes plus 3 m2 it becomes plus 3 m2 so 6 m1 plus m1 is equal to 
So here already 6 m1, this a minus m1 becomes plus m1 is equal to here already minus m2 is there, this minus 3 m2 becomes plus 3 m2. So here 6 m1 plus m1 it is 7 m1, 7 m1 is equal to here minus m2 plus 3 m2 it is 2 m2, 2 m2. So now take m2 to the left side and 7 to the right side. So here we get m1 by m2 is equal to here already 2 is there 2 by 7 m1 by m2 is equal to 2 by 7. So therefore m1 is to m2 equal to 2 is to 7 m1 is to m2 equal to 2 is to 7 therefore the required ratio is how much 2 is to 7 therefore the minus uh, the point minus 1 comma 6 divides the line joining minus 3 comma 10 and 6 comma minus 8 in the ratio 2 is to 7 so that we have to write so m1 is to m2 equal to 2 is to 7 find the ratio he has given so this is the ratio 2 is to 7 is the required ratio so therefore we have to write the conclusion therefore the point minus 1 comma 6 divides the line joining minus 3 comma 10 and 6 comma minus 8 in the ratio 2 is to 7. So this is third problem in exercise 7.2 next to have to solve seven, fourth problem. This is fourth problem in exercise 7.2 uh, see here what he is asking if 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma y comma x comma 6 and 3 comma 5 are the vertices of a parallelogram taken in order find x and y so he has given four vertices of a parallelogram he is asking to find us the values of x and y so how can we find see here uh, let the given four points be a equal to 1 comma 2 b equal to 4 comma 5 a 4 comma y c is equal to x comma 6 and d is equal to 3 comma 5 so let it is a b c d we have to take them in order either clockwise or anti clockwise so each of four points in manam a b c d and kundamu so compulsory what ni mana clockwise gaani anti clockwise gaani ok order lo tisko wali so here a b c d these four are the a vertices of the parallelogram a b c d so how can we find the values of x and y so here a c and b d are the diagonals in a parallelogram the diagonals bisect each other so using that statement we can find so bisect each other means the midpoint of the diagonal a c is equal to the midpoint of the diagonal b d so parallelogram lo diagonal so bisect ches kuntai and a midpoint equal gaunt on the AC BD diagonal so midpoint equal gaunt on the so let it this is the midpoint of AC and BD so here uh, uh, let in parallelogram ABCD the diagonals bisect each other that is midpoint of diagonal AC is equal to midpoint of diagonal BD so what is midpoint formula the midpoint of a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 the midpoint of the line joining the points a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 so here uh, uh, let it is x1 and y1 it is x2 y2 the midpoint of ac is x1 plus x2 by 2 that is 1 plus x by 2 this is the midpoint formula so see here uh, we use this midpoint formula just i am writing so this is the midpoint formula x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 so here we have to find the midpoint of ac so it is a let it is x1 y1 it is a c let it is x2 y2 x1 plus x2 by 2 is 1 plus x by 2 so that is 1 plus x by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 is 2 plus 6 by 2 2 plus 6 by 2 2 plus 6 by 2 so this is the midpoint of ac is equal to midpoint of bd so now let it is x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2 x1 plus x2 by 2 is 4 plus 3 by 2 so here we have 4 plus 3 by 2 
4 plus 3 by 2, comma y1 plus y2 by 2 is y plus 5 by 2, y plus 5 by 2. So this is y1 plus y2 by 2. So just we have to simplify here one more step, uh, write 1 plus x by 2 as usual. So here uh, 2 plus 6 is 8, here 8 by 2 is equal to. So 4 plus 3 is 7 by 2, comma, write y plus 5 by 2 as usual. So here 8 by 2 is what? 4. So directly we can write 2 ones and 2 four. So, so now we have to equalize the x coordinates and the y coordinates to get the values of x and y. So manam x y values cosum x coordinates equal jayali, y coordinates equal jayali. So first I am equalizing the x coordinates. Uh, uh, that implies 1 plus x by 2 is equal to 7 by 2. 1 plus x by 2 equal to 7 by 2 and here 4, 8 by 2 is 4 is equal to y plus 5 by 2, 4 is equal to y plus 5 by 2 by equalizing the x coordinates and y coordinates. So here x coordinate is 1 plus x by 2, here the x coordinate is 7 by 2, we can equalize these two, we get 1 plus x by 2 is equal to 7 by 2. So here the y coordinate is 4 and here the y coordinate is y plus 5 by 2 by equalizing the y coordinates we get 4 is equal to y plus 5 by 2. So now by simplifying we can get the x and y values. So here we can cancel 2 and 2. So we have 1 plus x is equal to 7. 1 plus x is equal to 7 and in the same way the y coordinates are take 2 to the right side we get y plus 5 is equal to 4 into 2 y plus 5 is equal to 4 into 2 is 8 so take 1 to the right side we get x is equal to 7 minus 1 and here also take 5 plus 5 to the right side we get y is equal to 8 minus 5 8 minus 5 so here x equal to 7 minus 1 is a 6 and uh, here y is equal to 8 minus 5 is 3. So he is asking to find us the values of x and y. We have x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 3. So we got x equal to 6 and y equal to 3. So like this we can find. Uh, so this is the fourth problem in x is 7.0. So manak x, y value, x comma y values find out che manado. So, manak x equal to 6, y equal to 3 or chindi. So, this is the fourth problem. So, I will the first channel. Uh, first, choose to naro, subscribe to the channel. So, I will the chapter in the exercise topics. Matam, videos chas, upload to the channel. So, I will uh, subscribe to the follow up. So, next class, I will the fifth problem. Thanks for watching.